I'm feeling pretty terrible today. Like sad. Like like the uh a, an oppressive wave of grief found me and is having its way with me. But despite that, I feel optimistic because I was able to get a workout in. And this is the first day that that happened. So typically typically over the last couple of weeks when the when the grief hits me the the raw reality of what's happening hit me i um you know i'll get my minimum in but that's it i can't do anything else and and today i got some mobility in i got a good stretch in i got 120 swings in which i felt really good about um and I got my minimum in, as well as some other squat work that I just, I didn't have the heart to uh, film. Um, and, you know, I consider that progress. In fact, I more than consider it progress. It straight up just is progress. And that's great. Like, like I'm finding a way to work with and around this. I'm finding a way to, to feel these feelings and still do what I need to do, you know? And I don't know what else to call that if not progress. Like, because life goes on, right? As I've stated numerous times on this channel, you know, as far as life's concerned, we're all in. We're born. Here we are. Maybe we chose it. Maybe we didn't. Depending on your spiritual beliefs. Um, but it doesn't change the fact that you're here now. Both literally and in the Ram Dass sense the sort of spiritual pseudo figurative way like you're here now you're in the present and and that's for the doers you know which you you must be counted amongst you must here we are together or individually depending moving through this a little out of breath. I don't know. I'm feeling optimistic. I have a long day of work ahead of me. I had a really good weekend with my kids. This is my last week of work before I go to Maine. And I just feel really, really here. Like my feet are on the ground. I'm engaged and and occasionally what that means is I'm crippled with grief um, but even in those moments I try to just experience it you know I try to follow Paul Conti's considerably sage advice and um, I kept thinking about the failures of my coping mechanisms you know uh, and and it, the problem had eluded me like like though that's not what coping mechanisms are for coping coping mechanisms are for surmountable problems and no amount of i always pick on journaling but no amount of journaling is going to make my mother any less dying you know there, there's no, um, of course it didn't work. And I was kind of a fucking fool to think it would, you know? All that can be done with things like that is to feel them, is to really feel them, you know? So I've been practicing that. It's awful. I, I, it, it's a terrible experience, but I think it's supposed to be. And... Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, it cracked me a little bit just just even now while I was talking to you. What can you do? You know? Cry, that's it. Like um I I hate not being able to do anything about it. You know? And I, I think that that, I think men suffer from that more than, more than women, which isn't to say women don't. 
Um, and certainly, there's wondrous variety amongst the genders, you know. But, um, oh, there I am doing my kettlebell swings. Video is almost over. This is Joe in real life. I love you guys. Be good to each other today. I'm going to try hard to do the same.